This is the uh, strategy map for example 5.1 in your textbook. In this example what we would like to do is calculate the amount of heat that has to be transferred into warming up 250 milliliters of water and we're going to raise the temperature from 25 or 20.5 degrees Celsius to 95.6 degrees Celsius. When you begin a problem there are two things that you want to think about. First of all what information do we have? And basically, what's our strategy? How are we going to go about this? Let's turn to the strategy point first, because then we can see how um, what we have available to us is related to that. We know that the heat transferred, usually symbolized by Q, is proportional to the mass of the substance undergoing a temperature change and delta T, the temperature change. We'll finally get to the exact equation later, but we see at least what information we have to have in order to, uh, to get started. We see that we have a, a volume of material, and because the density of water is given to you in the problem, we can calculate its mass. We see the beginning temperature and end temperature, so we can calculate delta T, so we're fine there. What else do we have? One piece of information we have is the specific heat capacity usually symbolized by C, 4.184 joules per gram per Kelvin. Notice that this is the uh, essentially a proportionality constant that relates the amount of heat to the mass of material and the temperature change in Kelvins. So now we have the information we need. We basically know how we're going to go about it. That is our strategy. So let's do a calculation. First thing we need to know is the temperature change. We know that the final temperature is 95.6 Celsius, the beginning temperature 20.5. Notice when you calculate a change in anything, here a change in temperature, that we always take the final state, the final temperature, and subtract the initial state or the initial temperature. You do that always in calculating a change in any quantity. And we find that the temperature change is 75.1 uh, degrees Celsius. Now, one of the things that you should realize is that our um, heat capacity is given to us in kelvins. But remember that, that the size of the degree on the Celsius scale and the size of the degree on the Kelvin scale are identical. So 75.1 degrees Celsius is the same thing as a change in temperature of 75.1 kelvins. So we're all set. We've got the heat capacity, we've got delta T. One more thing we need is the mass of the material. We know that the mass of the water is related to its volume and its, ten and its density. And you're given the density. It's 1.00 uh, grams per milliliter. So the mass of water whose uh, temperature we're going to change is 250 grams. So we have all of the bits and pieces we need, and now we need to slip it into the right equation. We know that the heat that's going to be transferred is related to the heat capacity, specific heat capacity, the mass of the material, and its temperature change. Okay, let's do the calculation. Uh, let's get a, a clean slate. Okay, now let's take the information we've assembled and put it into the equation for calculating the amount of heat transferred. We know that the heat capacity, the specific heat capacity for the uh, substance, for water, is 4.184 joules per gram per Kelvin. We know the mass is 250 grams, so grams are going to cancel out in our calculation. We know that the ch temperature change is 75.1 Kelvins. Kelvins will cancel out in our calculation and leave us an answer in joules, which is exactly what we want. After running our calculation, we find that the answer is 78,555 joules. Is this the final answer? Not quite. Let's think about significant figures. How many are there in the specific heat capacity? There's pretty clearly four of them. Four significant figures here, three here. How many in this number? 250. There's no decimal point after the zero, which means that there's only two significant figures here. So we can have only two in our final answer. That is, the final answer is 79,000 joules. Two significant figures. Our problem is done.